guys so I know it's been a while since I made a video I kind of took like a month off from YouTube just because I needed it there's no real excuse for it and I hate when people throw like a bunch of different excuses or a bunch of different reasons why they just stopped making videos but I basically needed like a month of just not making YouTube videos um, I have still been posting very little but still on my blog and I just wanted to kind of be like, oh, where's Ashley been? It's kind of why. I basically just needed a break. So while being on my break, you know, like a break, like Ross and Rachel were on a break or not, um, like being on my break, I had gotten some clothes. I had kind of discovered some new hair products. I got hair extensions. If you can't tell, my hair didn't magically grow this long in a month, I wish, but, um, I just kind of wanted to test out having longer hair because I missed it. Um, not really too sure if I'm loving it or not, but it's something new. And I also got bangs, which I'm also not too sure if I love it or not. But those are basically the things that have changed. And like I said, I was kind of getting a collective haul for summer things. Not all of these are summer things. A couple of these things are cosplay related things, but they're from Torrid. So I just figured I would share them with you guys. And yeah. So everything's kind of piled up in this box. Some of it is in order. Some of it isn't of where I bought it from because if I wanted to wear it, I would wash it and then put it back in the box just so I would remind myself to haul it. So I'm going to do the stuff that I have in front of me first. The first thing I have is from Torrid and it's a new pair of sunglasses because I'm addicted to sunglasses. And it's just a cat eye uh, pair of sunglasses. I just got this so I could get, like, the whatever. Uh, they had a coupon for, like, some 75 off of 150 so I needed one to be 150 So I picked them up, and I really like them. They're my new favorite pair of sunglasses. They're just, I just love big sunglasses, and I just, I just love the shape of these. So that is the first thing. Um, the next thing is something I was searching for for a super long time, and it's actually not even from Tori, even though it's not just something from Tori. This is actually from Target, and it's just a black sun hat, and it has daisies, but I can all, you can take off the scarf if you want. And I've been looking for a black sun hat, which is way harder to come by than you may think, um, because, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. I posted a picture about, like, a month, a little bit over a month ago, where it was, I didn't know it was going to be as warm or as sunny as it was, and even though I had SPF on, um, I still got really red, like, in my face. And I figured a sun hat would kind of help that, and I wanted an, 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 an enormous black one. So I can kind of, without the sunflowers on it, feel a little bit like Lydia Dietz. So, that's why I got that. Now my hair is going to be a mess. Yay. So this was fairly cheap, and I actually went to a bunch of different places. I checked, like, Forever 21, and they had, like, cloth ones or wool ones. And no one wants to wear that in the summertime. So I found this at Target. And it was really cheap and really nice. This next item is kind of a cosplay item. Well, I can use it every day, too. It's not just going to be limited to cosplay. But I got it because it matched boots to a cosplay that I'm going to be doing. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram already know that I'm cosplaying Black Canary um, for Boston Comic Con this year. And these look really similar to her boots, except it has a little chain on the back, but whatever. Um... And I've, I've seen ones like these at like Forever 21 and Wet Seal and some shoe places, but because I have really, really thick calves, um, they were hard to fit in. So these were from Torrid, and I got them on sale plus like $75 off of $150, so they came out to be really cheap, and they're going to be used for my Black Canary cosplay. That's the other one. I'm just moving it. So the first pair of shorts I got are these high-waisted shorts. And they're just black and denim. And they are super, super comfortable. And it's kind of weird because they don't do, like, actual sizes. So this is, like, a 1XL. And it fits me pretty good. Now this next thing is just a pair of capris. And they're, like, this, um... I don't know. This, like, they're not jean. They're not, like... 
they're kind of like a windbreaker fabric, I don't really know, but I get told that I wear black way too often, which I really don't care, but I just got them in this olive green because they looked good with the next thing I'm going to show you, so yeah, just a pair of capris, they have the stretchable waist and a little tie, and they're so, so, so comfortable, I dig them. So this next thing I had found at Target, and it is just a Jurassic Park shirt, and I wanted a Jurassic Park shirt because I, everyone grew up on Jurassic Park, but I really love Jurassic Park, and I loved Jurassic Park a lot when I was a kid, so I kind of had this idea in my head of dressing up of dressing up as like a Jurassic Park worker kind of so I got these pants and I have like a green vest that matches these pants to kind of go with it and a hat um for when the movie comes out so I'm probably going to be doing an outfit on my blog with that but it's just a Jurassic Park shirt it's a men's shirt and it was like ten dollars and it's really comfy Okay, this next item is another cosplay item and this is also from Torrid um, I've learned that if you can find stuff from regular stores, do it. Even though I like making things, I've made a couple of things for this outfit already. I found these and they work pretty well. They are just moto, like they they mimic like moto, motorcycle pants, but they're leggings, so they're a thinner fabric and they're not as hot and they have like this like ruching right here in their leather so it just gives a different texture than like leather jeggings or leather like leather leggings oh my god that's a tongue twister so they're really comfortable they're not super heavy so I'm not gonna be like dying in August but that's another item for my black canary cosplay alrighty I'm just gonna keep going with the towards stuff because I am right here um, I needed a new pair of jeans just because usually when Torrid has their big like $70 off of $150 or whatever type of things, I usually get a pair of jeans because their jeans are my ultimate favorite and I kind of like investing in jeans because I wear them all the time and all year round. So they're just a dark wash of denim jeans. They're high waisted. They're super comfortable. Actually, I think they're their jeggings, but yeah. They're a size 16 and they're really nice. The weird thing about Torrid's jeans is I'm a si I'm one size in jeggings, I'm one size in jeans, I'm a completely different size in shorts. So it really just depends on the style of what I'm getting. But they're really comfortable and they're a little bit pricey, but they're so worth it because just the way they fit. Alright. This next item is kind of a splurge, but it's so perfect for summer. And it is this dress. And it has this um, skull print on it. Um, sugar skull, I think, yeah. And it's like neon. So it's got, it, it, is, it is a black dress. It is a black dress. But it's got little punches of color in it. And I absolutely love that. And it's really lightweight. And it's going to be perfect for summertime. And to wear with my big floppy hat. So I really like that. And this was, I don't even know how much it was. Do I have the tag on it still? I think I have the tag on it. This was $50, but it, it's, toward stuff is really worth the price. Alright, this next item, I splurged on, and I, I'm not sure if I like it 100% yet. It is a bathing suit. I wanted to get a two-piece bathing suit this year, but all the two pieces I like sold out in my size, like, super fast. They had a skull one. Even just like the plain black one, uh, plain black ones, or even like the colorful ones on Forever 21, they all sold out in my size so super quick. So I got a one piece, and this looked really awesome on the model, and I know like things look different on the model, but it, it says one piece, and I was completely content with that. I was like, okay, that's awesome. And it stripes, and I liked it because it reminded me of Beetlejuice, and it was just really awesome. It has these little straps in the back that can be like, changed and all in all it's a really awesome suit the only thing i'm kind of confused about is how it lifts up like this and you got like the mesh thing on your belly and i know it's supposed to be like belly control or make you look better in it but to be completely honest with you it makes it a pain in the ass to put on 
and to actually wear because like this will like like move and you can see it's just I don't know it's weird to me um and also it has like ribbing going down the side like over here like it goes all the way down to like here and um I actually took that out it, it's right here and I took an exacto knife and I took the ribbing out because it was so painful on me and I was like you know what whatever I'm gonna make it work and what but with taking the ribbing the ribbing part out it actually feels a lot better but the ruching thing is just really weird but all in all it looks really good on me and I'm just trying to think of like how this will work in the water and all of that type of stuff but it is a really nice bathing suit it's really nice quality it's just different from any one piece I have ever worn in my life because it's technically like two pieces but one piece and it just completely threw me through a loop. Alrighty, this next item is from Target. And if you have followed me on Instagram, I've noticed that, that like 15 times already in this damn video, you have seen me wearing this. And I called this my Topanga Lawrence Realness dress. And I'm going to thank my friend Meg for saying that. Because when I sent her a picture of the dress, she's like, that's some, that's some Topanga Lawrence Realness. And for those of you who don't know who Topanga Lawrence is, then sucks to be you. But it's this floral print dress. And it's really soft and really stretchy. Kind of just feels like you're wearing a t-shirt. And it's like a muted, it's like a muted gray. And I love how it looks with my hair. It's like a muted gray and everything in it is like muted. It's not like bright or punchy or in your face, but it's also not like neutral either. I just, I really like it. And I like the little roses on it. It's super comfortable and it's perfect for summer. So I have like two staple summer, summer dresses with like two pairs of shorts. So I'm pretty good for summer. And this last thing I had ordered from Shirt Punch. I order a bunch of t-shirts from uh, Shirt Punch, R.I.P.T., Tea Furry is it called? Tea Furry? Whatever that website is called. It's like $10 tees, flash sale for 24 hours. And I get this one when it was out over a month ago. <laughs> but it has uh, Silent Bob and Jay, and it's from Mallrats, and it says... Meanwhile, and then it says, fly, fat ass, fly. Meanwhile, in the mall, fly, fat ass, fly. And that is probably one of my favorite scenes in Mallrats, where Silent Bob dresses up like Batman. It is an amazing scene. That whole movie is just amazing. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And look for some more videos this week, because there's going to be a couple coming out.